Hello, my new friends. Nico here, founder of New Frames. There's been a certain type of video going viral over the last few weeks uh, where a real scenery gets transformed into an AI one. Wake up. So we at Neuroframes uh, took the chance to, to implement this feature in Neuroframes and it's, it's as easy as never before to, to produce something like that now. Um, in fact, we can upload now a video here. Uh, we can upload a video here. I took one just now. And now in case the video doesn't have the correct orientation, sometimes this happens, uh, we can select the right one here and then press OK. Perfect. And we're here. Um, we can see now the, the frames are being loaded and they're here. This is the video. They're still being loaded. That's why it's a bit laggy. Right now we're done. Uh, we can also play it. Wah! Cool. So this is the clip here. This is the duration of the clip. And, and depending on, on where we want to start with our AI animation, um, we can just put the cursor there. So let's say this is wah! maybe here. Maybe here, and then we could say a zombie surrounded by a jungle. Click on pimp my prompt. Nice, I like it. Now I would like to not have any movement, and we I think we are good to go. Let's go to trippy actually this time, and I'll just render and see what happens. And we're done, we can play it. That's cool. We could also decide uh, now to introduce some movement, right? This is newer frame, so you can control the movement as much as you want. You can either go to the local movement settings here, or we just set it by ourselves. I always like, personally, I like to set it by myself, but this is very much a matter of taste, um, right? And now maybe not digital of a, of a cat as a zombie, as a zombie. Maybe we add some wildlife somewhere. Um, and we click on render from cursor, see what happens. Cool. You can see this, uh, now the movement starts and you can see that it's actually turning into a cat. It's super beautiful. For the start, for, and now you can go on forever, right? You can zoom in, curves, as always. And uh, what I always like to do as the end is, is add another block with zero movement again. And now maybe we can have even something something different, an abstract digital painting of a cat. I don't know, something um, beautiful digital art. Uh, render from cursor. And we are done, perfect. I will export it and then I'll show you guys here. Um, from Nico to cat. So what do you think of the video? Let me know in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe to this channel, please, to stay up to date. And I see you around here on newerframes.com. Um, happy rendering.